Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kicking Bass TV. Happy New Year. It's the first video of 2022. Today, we're out on the ice chasing the first bass of the season. We're also going to be showing you today how to use your buddy heater and a couple things you can pick up at your local hardware store to cook your food out on the ice. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below and let's go. <laughs> Right, guys today we're kicking off 2022 with a little bit of urban ice fishing for the last month or so we've only really been able to find fishable ice at higher elevations but now that we're finally seeing consistently lower temps we're finally starting to see ice form on the front range and while certain bodies of water are basically just starting to cap and aren't quite fishable yet we've got other bodies of water around town where we've had luck finding two to three inches of pretty decent fishable ice we decided to get out today pop a couple holes in the ice set up and see if we could get our first bass of 2022 and what other species we could get into as well. Almost immediately we were marking fish on the graph, but because of the fact that bass and perch can have a very similar bite in the winter time, it's ultra light. Wasn't sure what we had at first till we finally got one up out of the water, found that we were sitting on a pocket of perch and while none of them were very big, it's always one of my favorite species to ice. After that, we moved out to a little bit deeper water and right in about 10 to 12 feet, that's when we started getting into some bluegill. It's another favorite species of mine, whether through the ice or the open water. And it's great to finally catch some warm water species through the ice on the front range after a slow start to winter. We caught that guy on one of our red half inch mini maggot baits. It's basically a wax worm style bait available in any color or scent over at Kick and Bass Custom Baits. And we'll leave a link in the video description down below where you can get yours. Since we weren't having any luck with the bass at that lake, we moved to one of our smaller metro area ponds where max depth out dead center is only about nine feet. Instead of the red this time, we're throwing a more natural larva colored waxy. And that's what got it done. We got our first bass of the year, only took us till January 3rd. And that's really just because of the fact that we haven't had any fishable ice in the front range until today. And even though he's only about a half a pounder, not only did we accomplish what we set out to do today by catching our first bass of 2022, but we caught it using our own half inch custom waxy from Kickin' Bass Custom Baits. After we got him back out in the water, we set up our tent, fired up the buddy heater where we're gonna show you today how you can use your heater instead of lugging a grill around to cook your food out on the ice. What you're gonna do is pick up one of these five gallon paint roller screens at your local hardware store, hook that to the handle of your buddy heater, and just like that, you've got a nice surface on which to cook. And because it's gonna tend to wanna lean forward, which can cause your food to spill and cause the handle of your heater to melt, you're gonna secure your handle to the back using some light wire to hook it to these rear mounting brackets. Once we had the heater up and running, went ahead, threw our skillet on there to preheat. And today we've just got some basic stuff with us. We've got a couple of eggs, some breakfast sausage, some salt, pepper, butter. We've got a little spatula here. And of course we've got some Texas peat. Since we didn't have a very big skillet to work with today, we brought some foil with us. And what we did was once we finished cooking the sausage, transferred that sausage over to the foil, just wrapped that up so we could keep it hot by tucking it right underneath the skillet on the grill so we had room to cook our eggs. And one of the reasons we wanted to cook eggs in today's video is we had a few people asking whether or not the buddy heater actually generated enough heat to cook raw food or if it was basically only good enough to heat up pre-cooked meals. But as you can see, it's more than good enough to cook raw eggs, sausage, bacon, steak, anything you could think of. You could even slow cook an entire pot of chili or soup out here on the ice. And the coolest thing about using your buddy heater and this cheap little paint rolling screen from the hardware shop is that this eliminates the need for you to lug your grill around with you out on the ice, making it a lot more convenient. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on how to use your buddy heater to cook your food out on the ice. If you're gonna be in town this Saturday and Sunday, January 8th and 9th, join us over at Evergreen Lake from 9 a.m. to noon. We're gonna be doing the 2022 kickoff party, giving away free food, free packs of kick and bass custom baits, awesome prizes from our sponsors, do some ice fishing, maybe some ice skating with the family. So do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because that's the best way to show your support. And as always, I'd love to hear from you guys. So don't hesitate to leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Until next time, I'm D with Kickin' Bass TV. Subscribe!